Evander Kane be suspended? That's the question we're asking today. We're going to discuss the cross check to the head against Vegas Golden Knights forward Pierre Belmar and determine if he should be suspended. And that's coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So in case you missed it, here's what happened last night during the Sharks versus the Vegas Golden Knights game. Uh, obviously the Sharks were getting very frustrated. At this point in the game, uh, it's getting later into the third period. Uh, they're down five to nothing, the Sharks are. Uh, Vegas is absolutely dominating. You can tell the Sharks are getting frustrated. Uh, we had a, a whistle went for a penalty that was coming up against the Sharks. Uh, Captain Joe Pavelski, after the whistle, Evander Kane skated down towards the net and he ended up cross-checking Pierre Belmar directly in the head. Now, if you missed the play, as just a reminder here, we can't show the footage without the NHL uh, doing a copyright claim on our video. And so we, we don't show footage here on this channel. Um, so therefore, uh, if you haven't seen the play and you'd like to, there is a link down in the description uh, from Sportsnet who owns the rights to show the footage. Uh, you can watch the play there uh, to see kind of what we're talking about here. So based on what we've seen so far here in the playoffs and other scenarios where players have uh, been given major penalties and uh, had hearings for possible suspensions, it does seem likely that Kane will be suspended. Uh, if you watch the play, as I mentioned, uh, the link is in the description down there. You can see him clearly cross-check Belmar in the side of the head. Uh, Belmar clearly, uh, you know, went down pretty good. Uh, looked to be injured on the play. Evander Kane was assessed a five-minute major penalty in a game misconduct for the play. So it is possible to lay that after the league uh, reviews everything and dis discusses this with Kane, they may decide that that punishment was sufficient enough. Uh, but to me, based on what else we've seen here, other uh, other players like Ryan Hartman, Drew Doughty, etc. in this playoffs, uh, when it comes to suspensions, I think he probably will be given a one-game suspension. It will be out of the lineup for the Sharks versus Golden Knights in Game 2. At least that's my take. So leave your comments down below. What did you think of the play? I mean, obviously, it came after the whistle. It was late. It was certainly a tad on the dirty side. I mean, it was not called for at all. But I can understand that the Sharks were getting incredibly frustrated as uh, Vegas was dominating the game. Uh, but this is not going to help matters any, and it's not going to make matters any easier for the Sharks to go back for Game 2 uh, without Kane in their lineup should he be suspended. So I'd like to hear comments from you. What do you think is going to happen? Will the NHL decide to suspend him here? And if so, what do you think is the appropriate punishment? Now keep in mind, he was given a major penalty and a game misconduct for the play. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams. There's plenty of content here for all fan bases to enjoy. If you haven't done so already as well, check us out on Twitter. You're going to see your Twitter handle here on the screen. Uh, our Twitter account is linked down below in the description. We're very active on there. Love engaging in conversations with all of our subscribers and viewers. So check that out. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.